Ms. Johnson. My name is Leticia Sims. I am currently a junior here at USF running track and field and an aspiring sideline reporter. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. You are a successful entrepreneur, co-founder of BT, and a part ownership of three professional sports teams in three different leagues. And something that doesn't happen overnight, who and what inspired you to get into the sports entertainment industry? Well, first of all, you have to understand things happen in your life that you don't expect. Black Entertainment Television came along at a time when all the cable stations were starting. And as we were watching CNN and Nickelodeon and Discovery Channel and all those getting started, right. we realized that there was not an African-American voice being represented. And it was really important that that niche had to be filled. Mm -hmm. To own a sports team, again, that was a very, very lucky time in my life when a man by the name of Abe Poland, who I'd known for years, presented me with a WNBA team. And he says, I really would like you to own the Washington Mystics. And I thought about it for a second, and I realized it was a rare opportunity for a woman, because women do not get a chance to own teams. And I decided to do it, but I also decided to buy into the Wizards and the Capitals. And because of what I did, I wanted to play in the same sandbox that the men were playing in. I became awesome. vice chairman of Monumental Sports. Through the women's final four, I think it's a rare opportunity where there's a real spotlight on women, and that's what's important. This is the time for us to shine, and it's a time for people to come together to be able to collaborate and to talk among themselves of how we can get a bigger platform for women in sports. And that's why I feel so passionate about this women's final four. There are several local women in leadership as well as aspiring female leaders in the audience tonight, about 80. Hello. <laughs> if you could recommend one thing to them, what would it be? To believe in themselves and to continually persevere and never give up their dreams. So we understand that you've made a financial contribution recently to the 2015 Women's Final Four yeah. to help support fourth student athletes by student athletes like program you. that I'm in. <laughs> yeah. Why has supporting student athletes and students been so important to you over the years? You're the future. It's, that's it in a nutshell. But we have got to start bringing leaders, new leaders into that. Mm -hmm. I'm getting old. I can't keep <laughs> doing this. So you've got to get you in. You've more to come, though. You yeah, have a lot but, of opportunities. But you've got some shoes to fill, yeah. and we've got to constantly be able to bring along that young, incredible leaders like you. And you inspire me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, you inspire me also. <laughs> And thank you so much for supporting so the Women's Final Four and the Four Student Athletes by Student You're Athletes so Program. Welcome. We are ready for more opportunities and accomplishments to come. All right. Thank you it's so much. It's a pleasure. Much.